it's Ellie Diecast, and we're back. Um, I was just looking through the episodes, and we're already like on our 160th episode in a little bit more than a year that we've been doing this. So, man, plus we are closing in. Well, we passed our 700 subscribers, so thank you everybody very much for that. I promised a contest when we got to 800, and 800 is going to be on top of me before I plan the contest. So I will try to get with it and we'll have our contest at 800. That should be in about two weeks at this pace. So uh, we're back in this one. This one's going to be a short video. Just some Matchbox cars that we found at um, garage sales. And a few of these are mixed in that came in from uh, friends of mine that were sent to me. And we'll see if I can get through all these. I did not get much of a chance to research them, so we'll see what we got. This is a Jaguar XJ6, I think, police car. Don't remember the year on this guy, but he looks like he's probably from about the 90s by the look of the wheels. Um, he's a little dinged up, but very cool car nonetheless. We've got a highway fire truck. I'll put him in the background here. A little highway fire truck. Rescue, what is this? What was his name? Highway Highway Rescue Fire Truck. Um, this one has the those big solid hub wheels that I have now forgotten the name on them. These uh, wheels came out for a while. They weren't on a lot of cars. They always kind of catch me off guard because they don't look very matchboxy, those particular wheels. But they're kind of cool. I mean, you can see when they're in good shape, they really reflect well look really good the problem is they stick out it's hard to tell there see how they are what is that convex I guess That's our word for the day <laughs> and where these are concave see they go in towards the car these go out away from the car and the convex ones really get trashed so usually hard to find those in decent condition He's in pretty good shape. Next up, we've got um, a, whoa, almost dropped it. Vauxhall Astra police car. Uh, this one has a really long name. It's a Vauxhall, it's an Astra, it's an, it's an Opal Cadet. <laughs> Cadet, yeah. I think that's it. Oh, let's check. <laughs> that would have been a hell of a lot easier. It'll prove me wrong. Uh, it's a Vauxhall Astra. Uh, it's a GTE 1 Opel Cadet GSI. Wow, was close. <laughs> but another cool car. This one's from about the same time period as that other police car. These, um, these cars still had the suspension on them. You can see they, uh, they bounce. Inside these cars, uh, these cars in the 90s are is a, like a metal strip and it's kind of held in there by a plastic peg and the axles slide under the metal strip so the metal strip flexes and that's what you're seeing there in the um, in the suspension um, they last forever that metal strip is very hardy good thing about the old cars okay next up we've got a Peterbilt quarry truck and get out of the way guys a Peterbilt cement truck. My cement truck's got kind of a bent bent exhaust here. I can probably fix it. There we go. But uh, nice little cars. These Peterbilts, they use this casting a lot. Neither of these are my favorite. The little quarry truck open and closes and you can't see it probably on video but the little uh, cement truck rotates and flips. There's a little a little latch back here so they would put all sorts of stuff on the back of this particular casting lots of castings of those guys around out there next we've got a little pony trailer I did uh, not expect this one to come in these little pony trailers are kind of hard to find this one came in a two-pack um, but I don't remember what the car was that came with it and uh, this is about the third or fourth one of these we've gotten in the last couple months. A little back opens up. It would have come with two little horses. Uh, ironically, I have some extra cows, but I don't have any extra horses, so some cows are going to live in that in the time being. So just pretend that's a racing cow. But, yeah, my son loves, 
these little horse trailers. Something about trailers that really made the matchboxes popular. Uh, next up, this one I'm going to have to cheat on. I thought he had a better name than Fire Engine. He's just Fire Engine. <laughs> uh, this one's another one. It's got those weird wheels on it. Those kind of teardrop hub wheels. And I don't remember the name of those wheels particularly. He's just Fire Engine. Bottom of the casting says 82, but probably did not come out in 82. His little ladder does work still. Usually either the second part is missing or it's trashed. <laughs> Those wheels didn't last a real long time either. Next up, we've got a little uh, another little cement mixer. I should have put this with the other one. This one looks reversed. It's got the that European look to it, but um, I think this guy's just called Cement Mixer. Yeah, he's just called Cement Mixer. Castings from 2000s. So that probably means this guy was out in the mid 2000s. Again, he's got those con convex wheels. You can see how they, they always get trashed. Those wheels. What's the other side look like? Yeah, it's pretty good. But usually those wheels just get trashed because they stick out like that. It's one of the reasons you don't see a lot of the wheels. If they stay in the blister too long, they get trashed because they rub against the blister sometimes. So, but a neat little truck, the top moves. Next, got an ambulance. Yeah, that's an ambulance. If that comes to pick you up, you should be really worried because that looks like an armored truck to me. I'm not sure who they're taking away to the hospital in this one, but whoever it is, they do not want getting out. It's like an ambulance for the Hulk. <laughs> Ken, look at those big, big rim tires there. Five, five point rims, but geez, those are big. This is a one hardy ambulance. It does say ambulance though, if you don't believe me. You can see it is a, come on, I think this, I'm reading it. Oh, this was a McDonald's car. That's why I'm not recognizing it. I didn't know that. Uh, it's Matchbox. It's a Matchbox McDonald's car. He's going to have to go in his his own, uh, his own video. He's going to go off here to the side because I did not know he was a McDonald's car. Next, we've got a Mac Auxiliary power truck. I'm reading off the bottom. Um, strangely enough, there were a lot of these. <laughs> Matchbox made a ton of variations on this over a short period of time. It's got these cool little light stands that pop up. It does not look like a model you would think there was a lot of. Uh, they show up a lot in five packs and uh, kind of like the, the play set type stuff. Um, a few of them were in the main lines, but there's more of these out here than out there than you would think. His little friend, who also came in a five pack, both of those came in a five pack, by the way. See the little little tampo there is kind of the same on them. Pretty sure these guys came in the same fire pack. This is the Matchbox Fire Rescue. This is a favorite of a lot of people because it's got the six six tires. It's got its little hose that moves. Got a little ladder that's still working on the top. I see a lot of these, but they're usually in bad shape. A lot of them, kids' favorite cars. So we've got a wrecker truck. This is a cool little wrecker truck because it's got a kind of a there we go, kind of a neat little wrecker thing on the back. So it actually worked pretty well. You can see it uh, can fold up and over. So it's got a little metal pin in there. It's not plastic. New York 24 hour towing. I wonder, somebody can probably tell me this. In fact, I bet I just answered my own question. This is a state's car um, because that 11 is New York was the 11th state. That's New York. There's the 50 states. I just answered my own question. This is a uh, states car. And ironically, and this was not planned at all, <laughs> the next two are also states cars. Here's Connecticut. And somewhere on there is there'll always be a number. The number is the number of the state. 
So that's when it came into the United States. Then there'll be uh, the state's name. There'll be some little kind of piece of the state historically that's well known, like the Constitution, first newspaper. And yeah, there's the 50. They all had this little 50 on them somewhere. Yeah, that's a state's car. That's, that's fun. I didn't know that. Uh, here's another one. And I only threw this one in the video because I knew the um, that Mercedes-Benz. This one's a Mercedes-Benz, by the way. It's a ML430. But uh, I knew that one was in here, so I put this one in here. This is the State's Car 2. This is Nebraska, number 37. Get a little close-up of Nebraska there. A little corn husker on it with a sunflower, I guess, there in the background. Somewhere will be the 50. There it is, over by my finger. So yeah, we got three states cars. That's pretty fun. Three little state cars. These um, were part of the... Uh, I'm not really prepared to talk about it. Now I don't remember. It was Matchbox... I, I get the Matchbox and the Hot Wheels series mixed up, the names of them. I think it was Cross Country Matchbox, and it was for the... Anyways, there were 50 of those cars. They did not come with um, little plastic cases like the Hot Wheels ones did. They came with little license plates. And uh, I think that's right. Anyways, I'm probably wrong because I was not prepared to talk about it. So that usually means I'm wrong. So, all right. Next up whoops, is one of everybody's favorite. This is the Matchbox van. It's... Um, it's really a 4x4 four four van. This same casting showed up as the Matchbox van, and I probably will say that on the bottom. It usually does. It will say... Oh, this one does. Okay. So it says 4x4 four four Chevy van. It also goes under Matchbox van, I think. Uh, might be Super van. Again, I don't remember the Hot Wheels and Matchbox names. I get mixed up. But this one with the big tires tends to go under a different name. So this is the Matchbox Motorsports one. Pretty cool one. He'll go in the collection. Got a Cadillac Escalade. This one's got a... I was trying to figure out what was on this. It... Is that little 21 back there? That's what was... I was trying to figure out what this guy is. That 21 would mean something usually. But I don't think it's a, it's not a state car. Not sure what that little 21 is. I'll have to research this guy a little bit more. Sometimes it's fun to do these with the research, and sometimes it's fun to wing it. <laughs> Truth is, there just isn't enough time to research all of them. Next one are some uh, little Azuzu rodeos. And um, the pink one, the one in here in front, that's the first edition. This guy. This guy came along a little bit after. You can see real nice modeling on these guys. This looks like something that would fit into the current lineup for Matchbox. Uh, a Nissan Sentra. We're going through the the various manufacturers <laughs> small crossover vehicles. The um, Nissan Sierra. This one is missing something here on top. Something plugged in here. And it's from the Amazon. It says Amazon Rainforest. Oh, it has a little... I didn't know that. There you go. Look at that. It has a little opening door in the back. I didn't know that. I don't break it. It doesn't open very good. But look, they're all packed up. Looks like they've got some... I don't know. Some, some animals that they're smuggling out of the rainforest, I guess. Uh, it's got some little, little monkey, little parrot on it. So it had something up on top of it, though. I'll have to look that one up on eBay and see what it was. A few more. We've got kind of a little series here of trucks, and none of these are complete. Uh, these are Zuzu. No, they're not. They're Volvo. Volvo, 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 Volvo container trucks. They tend to lose their containers. There was a lot of these also. And without their containers, some of them you can't tell what they were. The white one, there were dozens of white ones, and I don't know what this guy would have had on him. The, the wheels and everything is the same. 
This guy, because he's got the little blue stripe, this guy used to have a Cool Paint Company, and it was actually called Cool Paint Company, and the container fit back here is solid black. This guy's wheels are in beautiful shape. The truck itself has been used a little bit, so I don't know what his fate is yet. And then we've got a, what's this guy? Is he a little Peterbilt? He's a, he's a, he's a, I don't know what he is. Well, there you go. He is not a Peterbilt, I don't think. Oh, it says right there. It's a Peterbilt. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, and he used to have a little trailer behind him, I think, but I didn't look into him too much. I don't know what his fate is either. He's a little beat up. Last but not least, we got a fun dump truck. And for you collectors out there, you know the one with the red is pretty hard to find with the red dumper. Um, it can go in mint condition upwards close to 30, 30 bucks in mint condition. This guy is not in mint condition. He's kind of wobbly. Obviously some paint wear here and there. Um, for you collectors out there, or maybe you're just getting into collecting, especially with the old Matchbox cars because they re re would reuse the castings so much and there were so many variations in the color of the same car. Um, and very few times do you see these with the box. These are really easy to, um, to pirate. <laughs> I could take this apart, respray it, tighten him up a little bit, you know, put some new wheels on him, and he would look as good as new, and, and he would be a, a pirated version. So just check the bottom. If you've got the rivets in place, especially on these old Matchbox cars, uh, usually the rivets are painted. So it's kind of hard to to cheat that. If you're really determined, you can. But at some point, it isn't worth the money to go and pirate hot Matchbox cars. So, so that's going to do it for this one. Again, we are closing in on 800 subscribers, and uh, we're going to be hitting 175 videos here pretty soon. So thank you, everybody. Again, check us out on the Facebook page. It's uh, Facebook at LE Diecast or Facebook at LE Customs. Both of those will get you to the same spot. Uh, or you can follow us on Twitter or any of the other ways that that I post stuff, and I do tend to post different stuff in the different areas. It's something that I spend a lot of the day doing. So hopefully I'll see you all later. Bye.